Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about adverbs. Adverbs are words that describe verbs, adjectives, other adverbs or entire sentences. Let's understand this with a few examples. First example, she writes slowly. In this sentence, the adverb slowly describes how she writes. So, this sentence is an example where an adverb describes a verb. Second example, this giraffe is very tall. In this sentence, the adverb very describes the adjective tall. So, this sentence is an example where an adverb describes an adjective. Third example, the movie ended too quickly. In this sentence, the adverb to describes how quickly the movie ended. The word quickly is an adverb. So, this sentence is an example where an adverb describes another adverb. Fourth example, fortunately, I didn't forget my laptop. In this sentence, the adverb fortunately describes how I didn't forget my laptop. So this sentence is an example where an adverb describes a whole sentence. So adverbs are words that describe verbs, adjectives, other adverbs or entire sentences. They tell us how, when, where or to what extent the action is done or performed. Let's understand different kinds of adverbs. There are six different kinds of adverbs. Adverbs of time, adverbs of manner, adverbs of place, adverbs of degree, interrogative adverbs, adverbs of frequency. Let's understand about these different kinds of adverbs in detail one by one. Adverbs of time. Adverbs of time tell us when an action takes place. For example, yesterday, today, tomorrow, daily, now, just, while, early, soon, immediately, etc. Let's understand how to use adverbs of time in sentences. First example, Sia is absent today. In this sentence, the adverb today answers the question, when is Sia absent? So today is the adverb of time. Let's take another example. The doctor will come soon. In this sentence, the adverb soon answers the question, when will the doctor come? So the adverb soon is the adverb of time. Let's try to fill appropriate adverbs of time in the following sentences. Let's move on to adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner tell us how someone or something performs an action. Adverbs of manner are formed by adding ly to the adjectives. For example, the adjective soft becomes the adverb softly. The adjective brave becomes the adverb bravely. Some more examples are quickly, intelligently, noisily, carefully, etc. However, there are some adjectives which are exceptions to this rule. For example, the adjective good 
becomes the adverb well there are some adjectives which remain unchanged when they are used as adverbs for example fast hard straight late etc let's understand how to use adverbs of manner in sentences first example she laughs loudly in this sentence the adverb loudly describes how she laughs so in this sentence loudly is the adverb of manner let's take another example the students are patiently waiting for their turn in this sentence the adverb patiently describes how the students are waiting for their turn so in this sentence the word patiently is the adverb of manner let's try to fill appropriate adverbs of manner in the following sentences next is adverbs of place adverbs of place tell us where an action takes place for example outside inside here there away etc let's understand how to use adverbs of place in sentences first example neha came here In this sentence the word here tells us where neha went so in this sentence here is the adverb of place second example the servant went downstairs in this sentence the word downstairs describes where the servant went so in this sentence the adverb downstairs is the adverb of place let's try to fill appropriate adverbs of place in the following sentences Let's move on to the adverbs of degree. Adverbs of degree tell us how much or to what extent an action is done. For example, most, to, less, very, entirely, etc. Let's understand how to use adverbs of degree. in sentences first example the cup is nearly full in this sentence the adverb nearly describes how much is the cup full so in this sentence nearly is the adverb of degree let's take another example the water was extremely cold in this sentence the adverb extremely describes to what extent the water was cold so in this sentence extremely is the adverb of degree let's try to fill appropriate adverbs of degree in the following sentences Let's move on to interrogative adverbs. Interrogative adverbs help us in making questions. For example, when, where, 
how, why, etc. Let's understand how to use interrogative adverbs in sentences. First example, why are you late? In this sentence, the adverb why is used to ask question for being late. So in this sentence, why is the interrogative adverb. Second example, when will the train arrive? In this sentence, the adverb when is used to ask question for the arrival time of the train. So, in this sentence, when is the interrogative adverb. Let's try to fill appropriate interrogative adverbs in the following sentences. Let's move on to the adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency tell us how often an action is done. For example, twice, again, once, often, always, etc. Let's understand how to use adverbs of frequency in sentences. First example, Salma visited us once. In this sentence, the adverb once describes how often Salma visited us. So in this sentence, once is the adverb of frequency. Let's take another example. We always play in the evening. In this sentence, the adverb always describes how often we play in the evening. So in this sentence, always is the adverb of frequency. Let's try to fill appropriate adverbs of frequency in the following sentences. Now that we have understood everything about the adverbs, let's do this exercise in which we have to find the adverbs in the given sentences and state their kind. First sentence, Hardik always helps everyone in need. Second sentence, this train goes directly to Jaipur. Third sentence, the baby cried loudly. Fourth sentence, my aunt will come today. Fifth sentence, we visited Rome twice. I hope this tutorial helped you to understand what are adverbs and what are the different kinds of adverbs. Do give a thumbs up if you like the tutorial and in case you have any doubt, write the same in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All the best.